Hey guys, Katie Vibes here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a really long time since I did a video. Honestly, it's been a long time since I even went on my pony collection Instagram. I don't know why I was such a mouthful. Um, I've just been really busy, but in a good way. A lot of positive changes, a lot of growth, just a lot of stuff going on that I'm super excited about. And I plan on doing vlogs, plural, about because there's just so much stuff I couldn't put it all into one vlog. I have so much advice to give and just so much positivity right now and I just want to get it out there and I know like people on my Facebook are probably going crazy. Um, I talk about my positivity all the time, I talk about how happy I am all the time, all these positive changes I've gone through and you know me hoping the best for people and I, I just talk about it all the time now because I just have so much happiness. Like I literally stopped and changed pretty much everything in my life and I am so grateful that I did that. I heard um, a quote from somebody and it's a quote very popular in the recovery scene. And it says, the only thing that has to change is everything. That meant a lot to me. It really sunk in. I really took it to heart. And I really worked off of it. Um, you know, I didn't just think about it. I actually did something with it. And I am so internally grateful for that. And so incredibly grateful for just even hearing that quote. But again, grateful that I was able to do something with it. Not just hear it, not just think about it, but actually do something with it. And yeah, I'm just super thankful about that. And so I'm going to be doing a lot of vlogs and a lot of different types of content. I'll probably be posting it here on this YouTube channel for now. But eventually I plan on having a second channel that'll be more appropriate for that type of stuff. So all my toy content will be here. All that content will be there. Um, I am going to be practicing a lot more with my video editor, so hopefully I'll be doing a lot of way more interesting uh, videos where I can actually like put stuff on the screen and show you stuff and do like reviews on things and um, do like little debates of like which one's better and all this kind of stuff like toy controversy, just tons and tons and tons of stuff that I have planned and I'm super excited for. So hopefully you're excited too. I will let you guys know when a video is not toy related, so that way if you're only here for the toy content, you don't you know waste five minutes getting into a video and it's totally unrelated. To toys. Um, otherwise, the only thing I really want to say, I am looking for stuff to buy right now. I'd love to get in some more packages. I have some money set aside that I can spend. So if you guys have anything for sale, definitely let me know. I very rarely buy things individually. I tend to buy things only in bundles or in lots because I like to get bundled discounts. Uh, it just makes more sense. But if you only have a few items for sale, don't be scared to let me know. Still reach out, let me know. If it's not something I collect, I might be willing to think about it for sales inventory, but you won't get a really high price for it. Uh, my sales inventory, I get at insanely good prices, so I'm not going to spend more if I don't have to sort of thing. But again, still ask, still find out. It's worth a shot, right? Otherwise, I'm always trading. I adore trading. I haven't traded in like three months and I'm going crazy. It's like the longest I've gone without trading in a while. So if you have anything to trade, definitely hit me up. Ask me what my trade list is. I collect a lot more than just My Little Pony. Um, and I collect more than just the G1 My Little Ponies. I collect other generations. So if you guys have stuff that's not My Little Pony related, totally fine. Still reach out to me. Still let me know. Let me know if you're looking to sell or if you're looking to trade. And if you're looking to trade, I'll send you a list of everything that I collect. Okay. So before we get into this G1 My Little Pony unboxing, I want to get into some, uh, your, I don't, what is this? What is this? I don't, I don't know what this is. This is weird. Oliver, leave the cat alone, please. Okay. Still don't know what this is. Not going to worry about it. We're just going to do this weird pose. And I'm going to say I went yard sailing the other day. So I'm going to show you the yard sale stuff just so this video isn't like five minutes and that's it. Because it's not a ton of stuff in the unboxing. So first off, oh, I got some hair. Uh, the lady actually gave these to me for free because I bought this toy chest. Like I think it was like Little Tykes or Fisher Price. One of the little name brand plastic toy chest for kids. So she gave me some hair for free. So I'm going to be using it for rehairing ponies and dolls. And I today have to, I'm going to make sure I do it, get a rerouting tool. Because apparently they don't sell them in stores. Um, I, I've been to multiple craft stores, multiple Michaels, multiple Joann's, and even some smaller craft stores, and nobody sells rerouting tools. Everything's online. So I'm sucking it up, buying one online. It is what it is kind of thing, but. Hair. Whee. There goes the hair. Okay. Uh, in this bag, I got Rick and Morty's stuff. So we have this, and then we have Rick himself. So here's his little, try to fix his hair. Come on, Rick. Work with me, bud. Work with me. He even has this little bald patch on the back. Funny, it's funny. So yeah, little Rick and Morty dolls. I'm not sure if you're into Rick and Morty, but if you are, 
I got you. Um, by the way, I should probably mention, like I typically mention, um, they just both fell over. Well, that didn't work. Stand up. Don't, don't stand up. Sit up. Don't, please don't stand up. That will freak me the hell out. They just like, Did y'all hear that? That was my door creaking open right as I said that, so that was freaky, but it was my dog pushing it open, thankfully. I think and I hope. Anyways, um, I should mention that 90 to 100% of what you see in my unboxing and toy reveal videos is for sale or for trade. So instead of telling you that everything is for sale, instead I'll tell you when I'm keeping something. So if I don't mention that I'm keeping it, like the hair, I'm keeping it for re-hairing, like I said. Obviously, I'm keeping that. Rick and Morty stuff, I didn't say anything about, therefore that means it is for sale. So if I'm keeping it, I'll tell you. If I don't say I'm keeping it, automatically know it is for sale or it is for trade. So there's that. And I also have more Rick and Morty stuff available if you guys are into that. Oh, this was pretty cool. Beast from the Disney Beauty and the Beast. I'm sure we all know that, right? If you don't know who this is, then either you've been living under a rock and your name is Patrick, or you had amnesia, I guess could be an option. But also, the other option is that you're way too young to be on this channel. I can't tell if that's focusing, so I'm gonna get back in this camera. It basically just says Disney made in China. I don't know why I was so keen on you seeing that in focus. <laughs> Very important, okay guys? Very important, it's not. Okay, and then I got this. I got this from my mom actually, it's just a Halloween flag. Hers got really faded, so she ended up donating it. So I'm sure they're just gonna throw it away because it was that faded. Okay, this one I got for me. I don't know if you know this, but I actually collect rubber duckies. Um, it was actually like one of, the, no, Eeyore was the first thing ever that I collected, but after that was rubber duckies and definitely like the most that I've ever collected, like quantity wise, until I got two of my little ponies. But yeah. Just a little Halloween pumpkin duck. Yay! I, I don't know what it is. I love rubber duckies. I'm definitely getting a rubber ducky tattoo before anyone asks. Obviously, I have to, right? Um, and when it comes to like my little pony, they have those little toys of the rubber duckies on the wheels and has like the string you can pull on. I love those, of course, because why wouldn't I? Hopefully, I can get some more. I don't think I have any that have the string. And I think I have one that's like missing like two wheels. So if anybody has those for sale or trade, let me know. This one's cool. So I have quite a few pink dogs for sale, different designs and colors and all that kind of stuff. So if you do collect pink dogs, I do have quite a few of those, but I never sell them this size. So it's not like the extra large one, but it's definitely not, you know, the typical small size one. I think the small ones are probably like up to here. Like the top of their head is like up to here. So big, 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 big difference in size. So I thought that was pretty cool. Especially for the price I paid, it was definitely worth it. Very gorgeous. I was actually considering keeping this, but in all honesty, I don't have a place for it. And it doesn't go with the theme of my room, so where am I going to put it kind of thing. So I am going to let it go as much as I don't want to. I'm being responsible, okay? Be proud of me. Thank you. All right. Last thing from the yard sale is something I'm super excited about. I almost didn't get it, but the price that she gave me was $3. So obviously I got it, you understand when you see it. So it's kind of heavy actually. But um Harry Potter. It says Harry Potter, a Hogwarts Christmas pop-up. So I was holding all over my puppy at the time, and I'm like, what the hell is this thing? So I had stuff in my hand that I was gonna buy from her, and then I wanted to see what this was. So I couldn't get it, it took me a while. See that well, I'm not gonna be able to get it now, right? There we go. Get her like really cool on it. Oh wow, look, it's just what's on the outside. But no, seriously, you open it again, obviously. So you put it down. Ta-da! And then, hey tree, how'd she, do, how'd she fluff the tree? How do I do this? I swear the tree fluffs. Okay, one second. It's been like five minutes. I can't figure it out. When she opened it, I swear it just like popped open. It was like a full tree. But when I pull on it, it just kind of like goes back to flat. So like I'm pulling on both ends, like poof it out. 
And it just goes back to flat. So I'm really confused. Um, I'm literally going to YouTube this and see if somebody else has the same problem and see what the hell I'm supposed to do. Uh, if not, I'll probably take the tree apart and, and just put it back together that way. I don't know what I'm doing. But nonetheless, uh, I have admitted defeat. But what's cool, so inside this book, uh, you can open it. Sorry, sorry, you can open. Ugh. Ow. <laughs> I hurt my nails. Okay. Moving on. Trying to. Try to see. Oh. I was hoping maybe it's been a couple minutes that it would just magically not be flat. It's supposed to be plump. It's a plump tree. Not today. Anyway, so you open this. And there's a book inside. What? So I wrote a book. It gives you some information on the movie and the worlds of Hogwarts. I was going to say the world of Hogwarts. Just say a Hogwarts Christmas. So I guess it is kind of the world of Hogwarts. Um, but it also talks about the town where like Hogsmeade is and all that. So like, okay, so here's that book if you remember. So in order to like open it properly, you have to stroke the spine because otherwise it's basically like this book spider monster. I like it is so. So it just gives you some information on that. It's pretty cool. So it shows you like scenes from the movie and like scenes from the set. Just really cool stuff, some artwork. And again, just information. So that's pretty fun. I'll definitely read that. That was a sarcasm, by the way. I literally meant I'm going to read it because I think that's really interesting stuff. So putting that back for now. Okay, so you might be able to see a little bit of like gold string popping out here and there. Some poking out there, There's some poking out right there. So, all of these little boxes. So here's one that's already kind of opening a little bit. And I'm not going to open all of these because I haven't actually gone through all of these. And I don't, oh, that's cool, Gryffindor. Um, I don't want to see what's in every single one of them. I want it to be a surprise. But basically what you do is you open one box on each day. So you can see it starts with number one up here. And it just goes all the way through. And inside, as I just showed you, I think it was this one that I opened. Yep. You get a little ornament. And you put your ornament on your plump, not flat, Christmas tree. And yeah, on the last day, obviously, the 25th is a much bigger box. I don't know if maybe it's up here, by the way. I just can't see it. It's kind of hard. It took me a second to see it because the goal 25 is really difficult to see. But it's there. Uh, so I don't know if that's something that goes on the top of the tree because you can actually see like little slits on the top of the tree. So I'm assuming it's going to be something big for the top. But yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. And again, she only wanted $3 for it, which I was shocked by. I was definitely thinking she was going to be like, oh, $15, $20 because I can only imagine what this costs. In fact, let's see if there's a price on the back. It's from 2019. Um... Uh, just says Warner Brothers Wizarding World, which by the way, kind of fitting. I'm wearing, okay, you totally can't see. Too darn. Yeah, Hogwarts pants. You can't see what it says. It's Hogwarts. That was pretty fitting, right? Right? Ah! So there's all the yard sale stuff. We're gonna get into this box now. I've already cut it open. I'm going to open it up, and it is all merch. I'm one of those people that goes batshit crazy for merch. I absolutely adore my ponies. I love my ponies. There's just something about merch. I guess because it's not as common, maybe, so I get way more excited about it for some reason. Um, There's definitely some ponies that I got more excited about than for any of my merch. Like, for example, I got... Oh, boy, they did not like that yet. Bam. Two cats try to jump on the same chair at the same time, and it did not go well. But anyways, uh, when I got Mimic, I was obviously way more thrilled. I got her for $6.13. Who wouldn't be excited, right? So when she came in, which by the way, the package was delayed twice. So I was like freaking out, having like mad anxiety. But yeah, I was way more excited about her than anybody else was. All right, so open it up. Hello, Catherine, thank you for your purchase. Enjoy, we appreciate your positive feedback. Big pink flower, thank you big pink flower. And I would definitely be giving a good rating. Well, at least I think so, I haven't gone through it. So I guess I shouldn't say that, but I don't see why I wouldn't. So, we're just going to open it one at a time. 
uh, definitely getting a rating for packaging. Gorgeous packaging. Everything's wrapped individually in little uh, tissue paper, which I'm going to delicately open delicately open because I'll reuse those because I believe in recycled packaging. Um, I think it is much better for the environment and I am all for helping the environment. Definitely a lot of tape on here, so it's gonna make that difficult. But I can cut it and make it look nice though. All right, item number one. Ooh, we got a little horns and it has my girl. My girl, Moon Dancer. Uh, so for me, Moon Dancer holds a very, very special place in my heart because for some reason, even though I know I had other ponies, Moon Dancer is literally the only one that I actually have, like, I guess I could call them physical memories with, in the sense that, like, I can actually picture her in my memories. So, yeah, it makes her just really special to me. So these are little party horns. Uh, maybe I will clean them off and, and do a little uh -uh. Look, guys, I, did I really just say that little uh, -uh. the fuck is it? I say shit and I'm like, mm. Don't say that again. You know what I mean? I do that a lot. But anyway, so first up, our party horns. Next up in this really pretty tissue paper. I actually think I have this tissue paper. Or I've gotten something else in it before. You don't have to say it three times. Each one. Next up we have, oh, got a few of these. I didn't even remember seeing these in the picture actually. So that makes it way more exciting. So there are the little things that you blow in. Again, maybe I'll wash them off and try them out. And, you know, come shooting out like it unrolls, I guess. So we have Applejack. So I guess we have another Applejack. Oh, I was going to say we have two of each, but there's actually something different in here. So we have two of those. And then whatever these are. I don't know if they're little placeholders, maybe. There we go. Huh. I don't know if they're for cupcakes. I mean, it looks like, like right? That's definitely a cupcake. Like cupcake, uh... Cupcake holder. Mm -hmm. There's a word for it, isn't there? Somebody, I'm pretty sure somebody asked, like, do you know what these are called? And it actually had, like, a name that was not cupcake holder. Or, like, cupcake, cup, what the fuck? I just said cupcake. Cupcake. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I swear I'm pretty sure there's a name for it. Holy hell. But we've got Firefly on these. So there's those. This is exciting, because I didn't know I was getting some of this stuff. You got a big flat thing. Woo Gotta love the big flat thing. <laughs> I ripped that one kind of bad. Alright, we got multiple items in here. So here we have, I guess they're, are they half or little table placements? Oh, there's two of them, right? Yeah, there's two of them. Oh wait, I think they are hats. Yeah, they are hats. Because look, there's little, ta -da! Do I look cool? I, I feel cool. Do I look cool? But anyways, yay! So we got Starshine with Sunbeam on the back. Ooh, I didn't see these. I got loot bags. Oh, backwards. Loot bags. Mom, look how cool I get to look at it. You don't. Oh, and there's two because I'm an idiot. I was literally like looking at it right. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that. Nope, you can't see it the way I was seeing. Now that I'm seeing it in the light, you can't see it. But from the back, from the dark, I can see, like, the outline over an outline. So it's kind of, like, not lined up properly. So it just looks weird. But it's because there's two. Ooh, I guess there's two of everything. Pretty, pretty easy way to remember it. So, I might actually sell one of each because I really don't see the need to have two of each. So, if anybody's interested in any of this stuff so far... Still shoot me a message because I may be very interested in selling one of each of them. But then we've got this. I was really excited about this. It is um, table cover. Obviously, you can see glory on it. It is unopened, so I'm going to leave it that way. But there's that. It's like stacking it. I'm not even trying to make it look nice at this point. And that's it. Oh, no, wait. Let me see. Shows what I know about what I'm getting, which is crazy. Apparently don't know what I, I bought but I got a really good price on all of this stuff and free shipping so that was really cool how did she fold this oh she did tape it seriously look how nice that is I thing poking through <laughs> but she has a uh, very good wrapping abilities props to that 
Okay, I'm just gonna rip it because it's gonna take me too long to try and unfold it nice and neatly. And I ain't broke, so I don't really need like to keep every piece. So this is going to the garbage. Okay, and another thing, brand new in the packaging. Another glory item. So this is a honeycomb centerpiece. So you can see it'll poof out at the bottom, that honeycomb design. I like that it also says the name of all the ponies under each one. It does that for every item. Uh, Lori smiles, it's kind of a little weird. I don't know, something about the teeth show is kind of weird to me. But nonetheless, God, there we go. <laughs> it's like the light is so bad. So bad, not bad, so bad, not bad. Okay, I'm done. Um, yeah, yay, there's that. There's that for real. Looks better on this side than in the art. The art looks kind of faded, I think. But yeah, on this side looks absolutely beautiful. From 1984. Come on, light. Don't do me dirty. Right there. 1984. So, yeah, uh, a bunch of stuff. I'm really excited about all of this stuff. Like I said, I'd be willing to probably let go of one of each of the items that I have the doubles of. So, we have, like, you know, the bag. We have the unrolly blowing <laughs> thing without the jack. We have what I believe were for cupcakes but are now just decorations with Firefly. The Moon Dancer horns. And the Pod of Hyatt with Starshine. And Sunbeam. Sunbeams, plural, there's two of them. But yeah, so if you guys are interested in anything that you saw, definitely let me know. Uh, all that other stuff, like I said, is for sale, minus the rubber ducky, the hair that we used for re -hairing, and the Harry Potter Hogwarts pop-up. We are done. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed yourselves. Hopefully you enjoyed my awkwardness and my hyperness because that's just how I roll, I guess. Anyways, guys, if you're interested in anything, if you would like to buy or if you would like to trade or even if you would just like to sell, definitely hit me up. Let me know. Um, I noticed I'm not getting alerted of messages on Instagram, and not only am I not getting alerted of Instagram messages, they all go to my hidden spam folder. So if you don't know, you have your regular messages, you have a request folder, you have a spam folder, and you also have a hidden spam folder. So you literally have two spam folders. So I have to like dig messages out and mix into them since I have over a thousand people on my like followers. I get a lot of spam and a lot of like, oh, do this and we'll promote you or do this and you know, you'll be a whatever influencer kind of thing. Um, so I have to like dig for messages and it's a huge headache. So I'm, I really do apologize. If you ever sent me a message and I never got to you, it's because it's just like lost ground in a sea of spam in a hidden folder that I don't even get alerted of. So I often forget about it to be completely honest with you. So I do apologize about that. I'm working on a website. So hopefully you guys will be able to message me there and everything will be a lot smoother and a lot easier. And I won't have to deal with all the technical difficulties that I feel like I'm constantly dealing with when it comes to Instagram, Facebook, and most definitely Mercari is probably the absolute worst. And also eBay. So yeah. Okay, guys, thank you so much, and as always, I hope you guys have a good one. All my stuff's in the description below, including my other social medias and whatnot. I'm going to go take a nap, go do some inventory, and get my day a-rolling. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, have a good one. Bye!